Welcome on one and all to not an exciting video, I will be honest. This is a very ad-libbed recording, um, partly because I honestly just feel I have to get this out there. Just because of how I feel about this game. Micro Machines World Series is rather disappointing if you wanted a Micro Machines game. <sighs> right. First off, menu. Welcome to Micro Machines. Well, at least the voiceover's good. For the commentator, the. There is other parts where it does feel phoned in, but that's not even the problems I'm going to mention. Right, as soon as we go into the main menu, there is play, garage, garage, whatever you want to call it, loot boxes, rankings, player bio, and settings. Seems a bit bare bones, but it, it's serviceable. Settings, there's a few options, video, audio, Gameplay, a, a, a tutorial and a practice, which is good. It's good to see that. Video options, brightness, but that's that's. I'm just bush beating around the proverbial bush here. My my main problem with this is it's it's trying to be something else more so than it's trying to be what it should be, if that makes any sense. Because, as, you, as I mentioned when I was sounding a bit eh at the um, <laughs> menu earlier, you see loot boxes. Eh, okay. So, I do have a problem with loot boxes, but if they're not too intrusive, then that's fine. And I will say, credit to the game in this particular aspect, there is no microtransactions in this. Which is good. However, however, <laughs> that does not stop it from being a very bad inclusion to pad out content, cosmetic content, which doesn't affect the game, which is, is good that loot boxes are doing that in this game. But they have used this loot box system to exponentially pad out the game's cosmetic content. There is no gameplay change in content. You get that as soon as you buy the game, essentially. Um, further on, as I go into the garage, it shows 12 different cars, vehicles, each with their different, each with different names, different. They do all drive somewhat differently, which is at least good. Um, and there's also some product placement, I mean G.I. Joe stuff. I haven't watched any of that, but that's just me. But that's not necessarily the main problem I have. Again, I again I keep beating around the bush here. But as soon as you... I, I, I'll just continue on. <laughs> so let's say we go for Hankenstein, the monster truck. So we have four options here. Skins, voice lines, gloats, taunts or grave stamps, which are basically sprays or kill things that you show when you actually take someone out. Right, here we go. You may know, if anyone, has pl if anyone here watching this has played Overwatch, you will notice a startling familiarity in the way these are all laid out. Where it shows blue, which is common, or uncommon, maybe. Purple, which is rare, and these gold ones, which are epic or very rare, if I recall. I haven't, I don't actually have Overwatch, but I've played it a fair bit with a friend. So I'm sort of versed in it. But what I'm trying to say is, this game feels like it's trying to be too much like another game, and in this case, Overwatch, than it is trying to be Micro Machines. This is further exemplified with this. Every, every, every single one of these 12 vehicles has a set of abilities. Each of a standard weapon that they can all use and two timer-based abilities. And of course an ultimate. 
We played Overwatch, that must feel very familiar once again. <laughs> yes. Voice lines, similar things to Overwatch. Boats, which are like um, pr essentially profile pictures, essentially. As, as well as the ones that you normally use in the on the PlayStation Network here from the PS4 version I'm recording this from. And grave stamps basically just spray, they're the equivalent of sprays in Overwatch, but more they only show up when you kill someone. <sighs> right, so with that brief comparison out of the way, which sadly won't be the last of it, um, I shall actually play the game. However, <laughs> you see here, the ranked match is understandable to unlock at a later level, but skirmish, okay. It's okay, single player content. Uh, okay, single player content. Where is this? Where is the campaign? Where is any sort of structural single player campaign that every Micro Machines game has been known for, as well as the local multiplayer content? Which, at least this game actually does have a decent amount of the lo local. It has all the arenas. Arenas? Yes, this game has battle arenas, which is where those abilities that are shown earlier came into play. But. From what I remember, Micro Machines has always been about the racing. The, the actual racing um, across these dainty little tracks with these tiny cars. That was the point of it. Um, and there's only 10 tracks, one of which is a, is a tutorial level. So essentially only 9. Um, Oh, oh look, mutators! Oh, there's only power-ups on or off. Nerf power-ups. Yeah, I will nerf the power-ups because there's no point in them. Because it's only free. As I shall briefly show in a quick race in here. Three laps. Let's go. So yeah. Sorry if I sound incredibly cynical about this. Because I, I don't normally sound cynical about anything these days but this pains me Greetings. this pains me a lot at how <sighs> okay I thought I turned them the power of weapons off uh, I guess not speaking of nerf you may notice that the brand did I mean, sure, the Micro Machines is a, you know, licensed property, but that doesn't mean it had to put in everything else, toy-wise. This is a, this is an, a, this is only a small problem, if it feels very forced, it feels very much like a, how the hell is he catching up? I just thought I'd go on a tutorial just to quickly, oh, bugger, get this over with really, but. There is literally only three weapons. The hammer, that bomb I was using earlier, and this nerf machine gun. That's probably the most times I've ever said the word nerf, but this game... <sighs> eh. Okay, now with that out of the way... Oh, I... This is not like me at all, but I I just don't feel enthusiastic necessarily about this game. Sure, it's nice to have a bit of nostalgia from the Micro Machines V2, V3, one of them two. Por character portraits for AI players. But that's really it. There's also a level-up system, just like another first-person shooter, Overwatch. Again, yes. That comparison is going to come back a lot. That's only because it is basically the best comparison this game actually has. It's not even as good to compare to an older Micro Machines game because it feels very much just... It is basically... Once I go into the battle mode, you'll see that this is basically Overwatch with cars. And I wish I was kidding. 
I don't mind having that kind of team-based gameplay. I don't mind that. That's good fun in various games. But when one game is going to be completely trying to ape the style of another, even though it was never related to that, that's when I have a bit of a problem. But before I do that, briefly, I shall go into the rankings. There is a ranked system. There is a competitive ranked system in a Micro Machines game. Not only that, but the prices are just more flipping loot boxes. There is no meaningful progression system in this game. Micro Machines, they had a single player campaign which you could actually progress. You actually feel like you had actually progressed through the game better. But no, in this you have all the cars, all the tracks. Which is good and bad. It means you can have all the access to the content for the single play the local multiplayer, sorry. Which means you can play with friends. But problem is again you, there's a there's that ranking system here, you can see on the top left right, sorry, oh god. That's how this game makes me feel right now. But on the top you see a number, the number four. Which is a rank system. There is a rank system, but you don't level up through single player matches. Oh no. No, 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 no. You level up. I don't even think you level up through local multiplayer actually. I'll have to check that. Um, but you level up through quick play. And you choose between different events battle, race, and elimination. <sighs> oh, what? It. And it will take a while, and most of the time you are often just facing AI, because not many people have even bought this game in the first place. And after what I've played so far, do I blame people? Do I honestly blame people? The thing is, they've been very quiet about this game since it was announced. They've never really mentioned too much. And I guess now, it's kind of of to me it it kind of feels obvious why oh it's not even gonna find one is it at <laughs> this rate <laughs> uh well well since it's not gonna find it i'm just gonna try and sum it up but the battle mode is basically battle arenas where you have there's there is different modes there is a um king of the hill there is a capture the flag, which is baseball, capture the bomb in this case, um, which, which I'm not going to knock on the gameplay. The gameplay isn't bad. It is quite fun at times, and the action can be quite chaotic in these battle modes. But if that's the only redeeming main feature of a game that isn't, that is trying to be too much like something else, then there is a serious serious issue. I think the name of the game kind of sums it all up. It is micro, as in there's not very much content except for lots of locked content which is only cosmetic and only openable by loot boxes and random money which is barely even surmountable to actually gather enough from them. Machines, in that it feels very soulless, contrived and almost cynical. World, as in, is very much online multiplayer focused only, and you don't really get any sort of progression. Not that there's any meaningful one in the first place, but the Persuado progression that you get through playing online matches. And series, as in a series of unfortunate design decisions and problems that this game has in a lot of ways. This game is, right now, about a sort of budget price at what? 20, 25 pound from the UK. But there are much better value propositions. Wipeout, that's a good, that's a remaster of a PS3 game, which is absolutely filled with single player content. And the Crash Bandicoot remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, that's coming out today as well. That's how you do nostalgia right. Micro Machines World Series br is bringing back the name but in name only. It is not bringing back the fun. It is not bringing back any of that sort. This feels really much like a cash grab. I, I hate to say this because I have loved the Micro Machines series. 
but this this uh 